All right, guys, well, now that we've had our youth intake, it's probably time to go take a look and see what it is that works and what doesn't work. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm really taking a page out of two different places. There was a Reddit post on this subject um, probably about a month and a half to two months ago. And then there's also the great work done by uh, evidence-based football manager. Thank you, Max, and I'll link to his video down below as well as to the Reddit thread so you can check it up and see for yourself. So uh, what we're interested in here more than anything else is what it is we can do to get the best possible youth intake. Youth intake is caused by a number of factors, some of which we have control over and some of which we do not have control over. So first of all, if you've watched Max's content or if you read the thread on Reddit, you'll see that youth intake is, has a lot to do with uh, youth recruitment uh, level as well as the club reputation level. So we'll go take a look at that first. Go over to club info and go over to facilities. And uh, this is where youth recruitment is listed as good youth recruitment. We could do a little bit better there. Good is probably not good enough. We want excellent if we're in the Premier League and we're playing against a lot of really good teams. Our club reputation, by the way, is up here. We have a continental reputation that will grow over time. There's not too much we can do about that other than trying to just work harder as a club. But when it comes to our finances, we can always go over to the board and say, oh, you know what, we want to um, improve... Uh, youth uh, recruitment um, there should be a way to do that. And um, apparently we can't, we can only cut it back. So the board must have told me that uh, they're not going to be willing to do much more on that level. Now, when it comes to that youth intake announcement, the one that we just saw, to try to maximize the uh, positive effect you can have, what you need to do is you need to make sure that your youth recruitment, again, is high, that your junior coaching is as high as possible. See, excellent academy coaching, that's what you want, and that your youth facilities are as high as possible. Great. I'm not sure if uh, I think excellent is a little bit better than great. So when we have the opportunity, we want to get that pushed up. That will help with the current ability of players. Um, similarly, the uh, uh, potential ability is affected mostly by junior coaching, the national youth ranking, we can't do anything about that. But we're in Germany, it should be okay, as well as our youth facilities and then the club reputation. Um, now, what about the head of youth development? Because everybody who talks about this, every guide you'll find out there will say, oh, well, you have to have a better head of youth uh, development. The head of youth development can help with some factors, but not that much. He helps mostly with the hidden factors, right? Model citizen is what you want more than anything else. Other statistics are like, okay, but the personality is the most important thing because that is where he will have the biggest influence on uh, the rest of your players. In other words, the influence that he has on uh, the players that come out has a lot to do with uh, their personalities and with other things too that are not necessarily listed here. Determination, for example, ambition, professionalism. That's where your head of youth development is really coming in. I know everybody says, well, you have to have good working with youngsters, judging ability and judging potential. According to the research and according to the testing, that's not really that important. It's this personality that is the thing that's more important than anything else. So basically, that's the way that this works. Now, as I said last time, if you are having a bad uh, youth uh, intake in Football Manager, it's okay because we all have bad youth intakes. In fact, most of it will turn out to be garbage no matter what. When that happens, what you need to do is you need to take the time to go scouting and you need to look for good young players. That's what you need to do. Look for the good newly created young players from other teams and scout them. See which ones have good pace and acceleration and have acceptable personalities, and see which ones you can buy off of them as soon as possible. Football Manager is not the same way as it was before. If you play with FM22 or any earlier game, you can usually sign like hundreds of players who are like that. It's going to be harder this time around. You might have to wait a season or two. But the earlier you know who those players are, the more, the chan more likely it is that you'll be able to sneak in and grab them, sometimes without even paying a uh, transfer fee. So that's what I recommend doing. Try to get your board to improve those other things. If it won't, then it won't. But uh, when you have a bad youth intake, make sure you go over and you snipe off other players from your country and from other countries as well. There you have it. Talk to you later. Bye.